Welcome to Five Minute Tutorials, where, or welcome to Five Minute Fridays, where we do technical tutorials in five minutes or less. Today, the tutorial is all about building a redirect in just using JavaScript, not fooling around with those pesky 301, 302 redirects. We don't wanna mess with that today. Anyway, this is a very rudimentary way to do it, and it's probably you know not the ideal way to do it, but it gets the job done. So let's jump right into it and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, first things first, we'll open up our code editor. It doesn't matter really which one you use. I'm using VS Code. I'm gonna create a file here. You can also do it in the terminal if you'd like. All right. So we'll create a page called redirect.html, right? This is gonna be the old page. my food is here this is gonna be the old page that we want to direct away from okay so we will populate it here with the boilerplate that was a shortcut with the Emmet extension I'll show you what that is real quick uh, Emmet yeah there's a lot here you'll have to figure it out I'm not sure which one okay so what we'll do is we'll make a paragraph tag and say this is an old page, right? So we wanna go away from this page. Save that, create a new one. We'll call this one destination.html. Obviously, this is gonna be our destination page. So same thing again here, and we'll say, we've landed on the moon. Anybody know that video or that movie? know that movie come on all right okay so we'll go back to redirect and what we want to do before we get too far is let's start up our live server so it'll pop up let me bring this over here <clears throat> it'll pop up in your default browser let's actually make this a little bit bigger so we can actually see the code because that's the important part right so up here in the head tag we're gonna say script and we want, we want to add an event listener to the window object, right? So window.addEventListener. That event listener is DOM content loaded. And when that happens, we want to run a callback function, a lambda function or arrow function. And within here, well, I guess so if you don't know, if, you, if you're completely new to JavaScript, basically what this says is, look at the window. The window is the browser window, okay? It's the object in the, in the DOM. If this doesn't make any sense to you, just look into DOM, you'll understand. Okay, so then you have DOM, and then you, have, you wanna add event listener to the DOM. And what that event listener is, is DOM content loaded. So obviously that means when the DOM content is fully loaded after that, then run this function. So we'll say const path equals window dot location dot path name. So you can get a lot of info from the window object, like the location. So that's your browser location, right? And the path name, we will log it here just so you can see what it is, what it actually is, right? So we'll save that. And this automatically refreshes. That's what's really cool about a live server. You don't have to refresh it manually as long as you save. Once you save, it'll refresh. So we'll inspect, we'll look at the console here and you can see our, our path name, our window.location.path name is slash redirect.html. That makes sense, huh? So we can take this a step further now and we can say the window.location dot path name we can set it to obviously we want to end up at slash destination dot html right so that's what we'll do slash destination dot html so before I save that um, I want to comment this out and want to say console log window all right so you can see what's going on here you so see, you get all of this stuff. I think maybe let's do window dot location. All right, so you can see the location is the full 
the full location. <laughs> okay, so you have the host um, origin, you have your port, your protocol. I mean, you have a lot of information here that you can look at. So I would implore you to check that out whenever you're trying to learn this stuff. Just console log it and you can see what exactly is available to you, you know, in that object in the browser. Okay. So we will comment that out. Let's just get rid of it actually. We'll uncomment this and you ready? Watch here. All right, when we save, there we go. We landed on the moon. We did our redirect. So this is a very simple way to do it and it's probably not the way that you would actually do it in the workplace. But it's, uh, it's a simple, quick, easy way to do it and it works and it can work for little projects for you and it's just fun to practice and uh, see kind of the things that you can do with JavaScript in the browser as far as manipulating um, you know what your users see where they land and everything and honestly I mean it might not be the way that the elitists would prefer to do it but it works and uh, it's simple so what more could you ask for all right, well, I'm Cliff, and you've been watching Tech Endeavor. This is 5-Minute Fridays, and I'll see you on the next one.